So Helen, look, thank you very, very much for, for doing this interview. We've had four years of Southwark and Lambeth integrated care, and we're now going to move into a new phase of the partnership. But before we do, I think it's just really important to look back and to think over that journey that we've okay. been on. So in the beginning, it was the big, in, the big organisations, the big institutions. Uh, guys, Tommy's, King's and Slam Hospital Trusts, Lambeth and Southwark Council, Lambeth and Southwark CCG. Now, of course it's all of those organisations still, but what's really made a difference is we have the GPs there and we have citizens there. And they're there at every meeting as equals. The amount of effort that has gone into it from all... Uh, all the people involved in the projects, from frontline staff, our doctors, our nurses, our social workers, the effort they've put in has been fabulous. It has created a relationship with citizens in the borough and patients and people who use services um, that has not existed before. I don't think you can emphasise enough the amount of effort you have to put into building the relationship. And the reason for that is that it's quite easy to put technical projects together and they look great on paper. But what is it that gets you through when you disagree and things aren't working? And actually the only thing that gets you through is if you trust the people you're working with. I don't think we started from a point of understanding we needed to build trust yes. and relationships. Yeah but it became so obvious as, as we moved on that that was what we were doing and that was what we needed to do. During this project, we've learned a lot about evaluation. Even our approach to evaluation yes. is very different to where it was when we first started this project. Um, and I think the work that was done with citizens around um, outcomes and how you might yes. measure outcomes yes. really changed the way people thought about what they were doing. Yes. Because it's not about, it's not about, you know, yes. um, was that contact successful from the nurse's perspective or from the doctor's perspective, it yeah. was what did Mrs Jones feel when she went yeah. home. I remember some really painful times. Do it, you? it was, it was, it was really painful. It was very difficult. Um, we, we were felt quite a lot of criticism that we weren't achieving the outcomes we'd set out to do. Um, and that was the point at which we just had to dig in and get on with it. So doctors, and citizens, nurses, social workers, they, they continued to do what they'd always done. Senior leaders were, had to be stubborn and, and just keep going. But it was not easy. And, um, and I don't think it would be helpful for us to pretend it, that it was, because it, it does feel successful now. Yeah. That wasn't how it felt two years ago. Yeah. And, and let's talk about some of the individual projects that really brought about that success and change of, of mindset, really. So we had at home, we had enhanced rapid response. Um, do you have a view on those? Well, they've clearly made a difference. I, I think that we're one of the few places in the country that's seeing stabilisation of um, a &E, in A&E. As I've already said, we're seeing reductions in people going into nursing homes and residential care homes. I can't believe that we haven't contributed to that. Um, and that, that, for me, must be some measure of success of those particular projects. I still believe that we are in a place where we can make a huge difference. Um, that, uh, I mean, the money is important because there's no doubt about it, the system, the entirety of the system is under enormous financial strain. But when you talk to people who are using services and you see the benefits for them, you just know you have to make it work. You have to, we, we have to make it work. Yeah. We've had four years of Southwark and Lambeth integrated care and importantly we're now moving into a new phase. What's next? So we've developed some uh, much more precise priorities. We're going to develop local care networks which will really affect the way in which we deliver services for people. 
and we're going to focus on linking our care records across health and social care. That will make a difference for individuals. And we're going to do much more with our citizens so that they are more actively involved in the next stage of development. Fantastic.